In our last video, we talked about how to calculate the cost per equivalent unit using the FIFO method. And in this video, I want to show you how you would go about using this cost per equivalent unit that we calculated for direct materials and conversion costs and to apply those costs so we can go ahead and calculate the ending work and process inventory for these accounts and also for the total costs of the units that we transferred out. So we're going to talk about applying these, these costs using our cost per equivalent measures, or equivalent unit measures. So now for units transferred out, it's going to be a lot of action here, a lot going on, so, so stay with me. But we're going to start with our beginning work in process. Now this, if you're working a problem in a managerial accounting book, this will typically, typically be given. So for direct materials, we'll have, let's say, $8,500 is in the beginning WIP account for direct materials. And then for the conversion costs, it's $8,000. Now, if you didn't watch the last video, conversion costs are just direct labor plus manufacturing overhead added together. So our beginning WIP, if we add those two together, these two right here, we would have $16,500 beginning work and process inventory. So that's just given. Now, the cost to complete our beginning work and process inventory is basically saying, look, we had th these amounts represent leftovers from the previous period, right? These are units that weren't completed. And so now we, we're saying, well, what was the cost to complete those units? So what we first start with is the number of equivalent units for each of these, right? So we can go back, and I'll just kind of scroll back here. Hope I don't give you vertigo. So we had calculated before for beginning WIP, direct materials, we had 300 units. And then so we take the 300 and, and multiply it by the 65% that is yet to be completed. And that gave us 195. And then we did likewise for conversion costs, it gave us 180. So I'm not going to go through all that again, but um, so we'll check out the last video if you didn't see it yet. So we, that's where we get our equivalent units from. And then we just multiply the equivalent units by the cost per equivalent unit that we calculated before. So I've just pulled these numbers and, and, and just there's, there's nothing new here. It's just we've calculated this already. And so now we can just take the product here, the product of each of these. So we are going to have... 14,709 cost to complete beginning work and process for direct materials and for conversion costs, 12,771. And that 12,771 is just 180 times $70.95, the cost per equivalent unit for conversion costs. And so now we can go ahead and we can add those costs together. So the total costs, $27,480 to complete our beginning work and process. And by say, I mean the units that we're in, the complete units in beginning work and process. So the leftovers that weren't finished was $27,480 to finish them. Now we can move on and start talking about the cost of the units that were started and completed during the period. So these aren't, they weren't left over from the previous period. They weren't partially completed from last year. They're completely restarted fresh this year and finished this year. So now you say, look, we have 2,000 units right, that were started and finished, and then we just multiply by the cost per equivalent unit. Okay, so that gives us $150,860 for direct materials, and it gives us $141,000. $900, and I've rounded to the nearest dollar for these, so if it's off a little bit, I apologize. And $292,760 is the sum of these two numbers right here if we add up the direct materials and conversion. So now that we have this, and again, these are just the product. This 150860 for direct materials is just the 2,000 units that were started and completed times the cost per equivalent unit of $75.43. So... Now we can go and say, okay, we know the cost of units started and completed during the period. We know what we started with in terms of the beginning WIP, and we know the cost to complete the beginning WIP, right? So we've got what we started with, what it cost to complete it, and then what we did fresh, what we, what we did that we started and completed fresh this period. So we just add that all up, and that's going to give us the total cost of units that we transferred out during this period. So that's $336,740, and that's just a 
the sum of these. And again, I, I rounded uh, to the nearest dollar in some of these, so it might be off a few dollars with the numbers you get, but that's the total cost of units transferred out. Now we need to know the ending work in process for each for the direct materials and the conversion costs and the total. So for our ending work in process, we say, okay, what is the equivalent units? Well, we've already calculated that before, right? The 125 and the 75, and I'll just, I'll just briefly show this to you. Before, in our last video, we talked about the ending whip here was direct materials. There's 500 units, 25% complete. So 500 times 25% is 125. And then for conversion costs, we have 500 units, 15%. 15% of 500 is 75. So that's where the 125 and 75 come from. We've already calculated our number of equivalent units, and we just transfer them down uh, up from above from our previous work. And now we just multiply this, the, each of these numbers, by the corresponding cost per equivalent unit. And so for direct materials, we're going to have $9,429. And then conversion costs, we're going to have $5,321. And if we add those two together, it's going to give us $14,750. So that is our ending work and process, the total ending work and process, according to uh, applying these costs based on the FIFO method that we use to calculate the cost per equivalent unit. Now in the next video, I want to contrast what we've been doing in terms of calculating cost per equivalent unit using the FIFO method. And I want to talk about how the cost per equivalent unit would be different compared to the weighted average method. So we're going to look at FIFO versus the weighted average method for cost per equivalent.